Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to do an updated plant collection. I think the first one that I posted on this channel was my first video ever. I actually don't know how long ago that was, but maybe close to a year ago now. I'm going to have to double check on that one. I am going to start off with the plants that are in semi-hydroponics, and if you are new to my channel, then I grow most of my houseplants in semi-hydroponics, or these little clay leca balls. I have a whole playlist on that if you're interested and I will link that at the top. I'm going to be talking about the semi-hydroponic plants first and then I switch over to the ones in soil. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This right here is my beautiful philodendron Rio Sport. This is from Gabriella's Plants. I ordered it online and I love ordering from their nursery. I've ordered from them twice already and they were great experiences. For any plant that I have an unboxing for, I'm gonna link it at the top so you can check those out after the video. I am absolutely obsessed with this foliage. It is pastel yellow and it has like the silvery blue coloring in the middle and the shape of the leaves are very different from other trailing philodendrons so these leaves are more narrow and I love variegated plants because for each new leaf that comes out the variegation is going to be different so it's like a surprise in every single new leaf. Next I'll move on to my Monstera Adinsona. I did a plant swap with my friend Sarah on Instagram so she gave me a rooted cutting of it. It was a very generous cutting, but I chopped it up and I stuck it right back into the LECA. Yeah, it started sprouting like a weed, growing so fast. The fenestrations are just beautiful. When it starts to grow up like this, because it's starting to grow straight up, I think I'm going to chop it again because I want it to be much fuller before it starts trailing. So that is the goal with that. And I love this pot so much that it's in. It's actually a recent purchase. I think I'm going to do a separate video on where I get all of my planters because I have gotten questions about that. But let me know in the comments below if you are interested in a video all about planters. I love this one so much. And it's special because it came from a friend. Side note, I don't know how many plants I have right now. I think the number is under 30. I'll discuss at the end of the video how many plants total it was. Next is my variegated syngonium and... This one I got from Logies. I did an unboxing of this as well. There was just a few leaves when I first got it, and the leaves were beautiful, had so much white on them. I think these are the older leaves, but as you can see, the white part got a little bit burnt because I didn't realize that in this window, I leave for work in the morning and apparently in the afternoon it gets direct sun, so I kind of scorched some of them. I brought it farther back from the window and I have it a little bit more shaded between other plants. Other than that, this plant has been putting out a lot of new growth. Um, I feel like I'm gonna say that for everything because it's true, but look at this leaf. It's a half and half one and it's just gorgeous. I love the lighter green coloring that it has there too. Um, this It keeps putting out all white ones. It seems to put out growth pretty quickly as you can see right there. That's new growth. Oh, there's another new leaf in there too. So there's two new leaves that are growing in. I will make sure to not let this one get burnt. It's doing well except for those, so ignore those. <laughs> Sorry. I am gonna move on to this one. I got this Thai Constellation Monstera in a plant swap as well. I traded with Mish on Instagram and I treated a cutting of my variegated monstera. So this is the leaf that it put out for me. This was the first fenestrated leaf. Eventually it's gonna put out some new growth right here. So we'll see how variegated it gets. That's the fun thing about variegated plants. You just never know what you're gonna get. This is my monstera silta pecana. I have chopped this plant so many times because it keeps growing really, really, really long and I want it to be fuller so I keep chopping it and putting it back in. I got this one from Steve's Leaves and I just love the detailing of these leaves. Each leaf just has that veining. I don't know, something about this plant. I just love it a lot. And in this lighting, it actually looks like it's more silvery. There is more than one variety of the Silta Pecana. There's one that has more silver leaf markings and this one's not it. This one's still part of the Barely Trailing Club. It keeps graduating and then I keep chopping it back. It's back to Barely Trailing, but one day. I think I'm done chopping it back for now because it looks pretty full. So I'm gonna start letting this one trail. This is one of my newer additions. This is my Monstera scandiolana. 
The reason why I have it in water is because I didn't have time to convert it on the day that I took it out of soil. So I just stuck it in water for now and I am going to stick it into LECA. I don't normally do this. I usually just stick it straight into LECA. It was a timing thing and that's why it's like this. This is new growth. Yay! I have to get some more planters but as soon as I get a planter I'm going to convert this one. Next is my philodendron micans and this one has grown so much when I first got it. It was really short and compact but still full and now it's trailing. Do you see how it's trailing on both sides? This one is a much longer trail. It is so gorgeous. This one's in Lekka too and I just have it with this saucer because I figured once it does fully start trailing you're not gonna see the pot anyway so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Yeah this one's so happy. When I was living in my other apartment, it was not getting that much sunlight, but it didn't care. It was just putting out a bunch of new growth all the time. But now it's even happier because I actually have it next to a window. I like having this one within arm's reach so I can just touch the leaves all the time because it's so soft. This is my Syndapsis Truby Moonlight and there is a dark form too, which I think is so cool. It's just, it looks like this, but much darker. This one has a lot of silver in it. I have a thing for silvery blue plants, as you will probably see. Temporary setup, not the prettiest, but you know, you do what you gotta do. I have this one in Lekka, and this is just a bowl. I need to find another planter that actually fits this one, because, yeah, this... This is my only netted pot like this. Most of them are nursery pots, and this one's kind of an awkward size. So I just need to find the right pot for it. That'll do this plant justice, but I cannot wait for this one to trail too. I'm so happy with my plant collection now because seriously, everything in my plant collection, I just love so much. It's to the point where I wanna have an office plant, but I don't wanna bring any of my actual plants in because I don't want them to leave my house. I just at this point, I feel like if I want an office plant, I have to bring in a really boring one. I have to actually go to Home Depot or something and find a really boring plant to bring in. I sound like a crazy person, but you know. This is my Philodendron Hestatum or Silver Sword. I have been obsessed with this plant ever since I first saw it on Instagram before I even owned it. I got this one from, from Gabriella's Plants. This plant grew so much for me. Some of the newer growth looks more round. Where is it? Like this one? so cute looks like a little heart when this plant gets more mature the leaf shape just completely changes but i love how it looks right now i like the mature form as well there's some new growth right there i just always look at this plant because i mean this silvery blue color is just it's unreal and now staying on the theme of silvery blue plants this is my sabu blue pothos this was so much smaller when I first got it. I got it from Steve's Leaves. For most of my trailing plants, I do the chop and prop. So chop it, stick it back in the leca, and just let it grow with the rest of them. And they really take off. I never really have issues with them not rooting. I'm out of breath because I keep having to get up and get more plants. But yeah, it's just as happy as can be. It's trailing both sides. I think it's full enough, so I'm just going to let it run wild. This is my Pothos Enjoy. This one is one that I saved from root rot at one point, and of course it's in some of my hydroponics now. And it's happy, it's gonna grow back, hopefully as full as it used to be. Yeah, I stopped the root rot with that one, because with Lekka I can just check on the roots easily. I said in my last video that I seriously went to like six different stores trying to find a Pothos Enjoy at the time that I wanted one. But now they're everywhere. You can find them literally anywhere you go. Any big box store will have them. But before, none had them. Actually, a lot of nurseries had no idea what I was talking about when I was looking for it. This is my Neon Pothos. And I got this one as a really small cutting. I don't even know how many leaves it was. Maybe three max. But it has taken off. It's constantly putting out new growth. It looks really weird because it's just fanned out in one direction. And I never turn it because it's on my wire grid. So if I turn it, it's going to look like that and be pushed up against the wire part. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. I just I keep chopping this one back as well because it has it's not as full. Again, it was only three leaves to start with. So it's come a long way. This is a cutting that I got from my dad. It doesn't look like much, but I know it's come a long way. Here is my Hartley Philodendron, just my plain common house plant. And I actually love this one a lot. I know it's really common, 
but it just looks so pretty when it starts trailing. This one was trailing at one point, but, but again, I chopped it back to stick it back in because I wanted it to be more full. And when I first got this, this was pretty tiny. This one's in semi-hydroponics as well. Now, because it's more full, you can see how full it is at the top here. I'm just gonna let it start actually trailing. I think I'm eventually gonna want a huge one. This one is gonna stay on my wire grid. So for the ones that are on my wire grid, I like how they look uh, because they've all grown so much. When I first started my wire grid, if you could scroll back all the way on my Instagram, there wasn't much and they were all in soil at that point. I bought this plants when they were so small and now they've all taken off. So the wire grid actually looks so much cooler now. I'm just so proud of my plants. <laughs> To complete the wire grid, this is my Philodendron Brazil. It's not my last plant, just the last one on the wire grid. Again, this was tiny when I got it. And look at it now. It's been growing. Not much to say about it other than, again, I've been chopping it back and putting it back in the LECA because I wanted it to be so much fuller. As you can see there, it's really taken off. Another common houseplant that I love a lot. It's also so interesting to me that in some countries like Australia, I think it's harder to find philodendron brazils but then here we have them at all the big box stores but in australia i think it's more common to see silver swords next is my sansevieria moonshine this is my only snake plant right now and i just love it because it's a beautiful pastel color i got this when i went on an anniversary trip with my husband i have a whole routine and so many videos on semi hydroponics but a lot of people do ask me if i do anything differently depending on the kind of plant it is and no i don't it's all the same routine, no matter if it's a snake plant, succulent, or a regular house plant like the ones I've been showing you. I just went out to the living room because I'm getting more plants that are not actually in our room. Moving on, this is my Marble Queen Pothos, and it is doing pretty well. At one point when I had it in my old apartment i was not giving it as much sunlight and then it started getting some brown tips like that yeah so this one has always been pretty full but it has a long way to go before it starts trailing it's definitely putting out new growth and some of the leaves are huge and i really like how this color is just more pastel this one is actually my good luck plan i have an interesting story for this one i was having a really bad month i really wanted to go get some ice cream i picked one of my favorite ice creams when i got home i opened it and there was a five dollar bill in it it just made my day that's what i bought this plant with it's a pink syngonium the common name for it is strawberries and cream which i think is so cute anytime i look at it it's always putting out new growth i have this syndapsis picked this and this is another cutting that I got from my dad. I have a large Monstera Deliciosa in the living room and I got that from Home Depot and it was a great price like $25. If you are wondering why it doesn't look as full as in the past, I gave part of it to my sister and she is actually doing really well with that plant so I'm really proud of her. That one, it was a more established plant and it took forever to convert to semi hydroponics. I have a video on that too. It's been putting out new leaves one after another. Moving on to my fiddle leaf fig that is in LECA as well. This plant has never given me any issues. When it was in soil, it I mean, the soil stunk when I first got it. I got it from Home Depot. This thing was less than $20. I didn't water for months at a time and the soil was constantly wet. I eventually repotted it into different soil. Then when I got into semi-hydro, I decided to switch it into semi-hydroponic. It didn't put out any new growth for me until I converted it. I just hope when it grows very large that it doesn't give me any issues because it's probably gonna topple over. That's all of the plants that I have in semi-hydroponics. Now I'm gonna move it to everything that I have still in soil. It used to just be my outdoor plants and my large variegated monstera, but since then I've gotten a few more bucket list plants. Here's my most recent find. This is a string of hearts. Some of the hearts are a really good size at the top and it, this one is starting to trail. I just have this right next to a south facing window in the living room. But if you can take a look compared to my finger how big the hearts are. Here is a cactus that I've had since the beginning. It's a balloon cactus. I water it like once a month. At one point I had this like 8 feet back from my south facing window. That's pretty far back for a cactus because they need such bright light. He's grown a lot. Because when you look at the top and you see any lime green, lighter green color, like it's growing taller from there. So. I think he was about here when I got him. I'm not too sure. Here is my Syndapsis pictus. This one's my newest one. It is a huge one, as you can see. 
and look at this trail. It's a crazy trail. Doesn't it just look insane? It looks crazy on camera. It looks crazy in person. Uh, you can't stop looking at it. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, this one's never going to make it to the office. I just love it too much. And it's putting out a lot of new growth. This one's still in soil. I have not watered it. It's more established, so I don't think I'm going to convert it, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just eventually propagate and, con and convert those pieces or just add that to the, uh, the synapsis pectus I just talked about that is already in semi-hydro. This is my pride and joy from my husband. This is my variegated monstera, and I recently repotted it. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it at the top. It took the repotting very well. It didn't show any signs of distress at all. This is probably one of my favorite leaves because of its fenestrations. I might actually chop this and propagate it. And now I am outside to show you the last three plants. I think that makes 26 total plants. It's my baby Rita and it's now sprouting some new growth. When I first got this, I put it into semi-hydroponics and that's how I propagated it. So I got it as a cutting from my friend Valerie and they were growing very well. It's actually, it got more purple since I put it outside because it's supposed to be like a unicorn looking cactus. That's why I like this one so much. Cacti can do really well in semi-hydro. Also, this donkey tail succulent. I had these two pieces in a semi-hydroponics as well and it was growing perfectly fine. I just wanted to stick it in soil because I had a bunch of these little leaves that I was propagating and as you can see they pretty much all took but I didn't want to put them alone I want to put it with two actual decent sized cuttings of it if you want to do semi hydroponics with succulents it will probably do well and then here is my aloe we actually use this aloe when we get cut so that's why you can see it's cut there that is it for my houseplant collection update thanks for watching bye